Imagine this, you're standing at a fast charging hub five years from now. On one side, the MG MGS6 EV, fresh from a family road trip, still warm from 77 kilowatt hours of NMC chemistry doing their thing. On the other, the BYD Celian 7, its blade battery tucked into the body like a structural spine, cooling down after a 4.5 second sprint to 100 kilometers per hour. Two mid-size electric SUVs, two very different engineering philosophies. The question for today's Autopedia deep dive is simple. If you're choosing your next EV, which of these two is actually the smarter piece of technology? Welcome back to Autopedia, your English language guide to the hardware and software underneath the badges. In this episode, we're going to put the MG MGS6 EV and the BYD Celian 7 under a microscope. All the numbers I'm about to quote come from MG's and BYD's own official materials, not rumors, not leaks, not forum guesses. My job is to take those raw specs and translate them into what they really mean for your daily driving. Let's start with the basics. What are these cars? The MGS6 EV is MG's all-electric, mid-size SUV, sitting above the MGS5 and built on the brand's modular scalable platform, the same EV architecture that underpins the MG4. It's a five-seat, roughly 4.7-meter-long family SUV with a big boot, a frunk, and a focus on value and range. The Celian 7 is BYD's ocean-themed mid-size electric SUV, positioned as a dynamic, slightly more premium lifestyle model. It's similar in footprint, but it leans harder into performance, high-end tech, and design flair. Now under the floor, because that's where the story really starts, the MGS6 EV uses what MG calls its ultra-slim one-pack battery. Officially, it's a 77 kWh pack using NMC chemistry, with the cells laid horizontally at about 110 mm thick. That slimness is not just a party trick, it lets MG push the cabin floor lower, giving more legroom and a comfortable seating position without turning the car into a tower block on wheels. That same pack is used for both versions, the rear-wheel drive single motor car and the dual motor all-wheel drive model. The Celian 7, on the other hand, uses BYD's blade battery. That's lithium iron phosphate chemistry arranged in long, thin blade cells. Official documents highlight two big things about it, safety and structure. The blade pack has been through BYD's infamous nail and crush tests. And in the Celian 7, it's integrated using CTB, cell to body technology. What that means in practice is that the battery isn't just a box bolted into the chassis, it's part of the chassis. The pack becomes a structural element, increasing torsional rigidity and helping the suspension do its job more precisely. Battery capacity is listed as up to 91.3 kilowatt hours, depending on version, giving the Celian 7 a raw energy advantage over the MG. Range is where these design decisions start to show up. MG officially quotes up to 530 kilometers of WLTP range for the rear-wheel drive MGS6 EV with that 77 kilowatt-hour pack and around 485 kilometers for the dual motor all-wheel drive version. Those are strong numbers for the battery size, and MG explicitly links them to three things. The low, slim battery pack, a lot of aero optimization, including underbody panels and active grille shutters, and a drag coefficient of 0.27, which is very respectable for a tall SUV. On the BYD side, up to 502 kilometers of range, we don't, but we do know that this is on a larger blade pack that prioritizes cycle life and safety as much as raw energy density. So if you look purely at official WLTP range figures, the MG wins on paper in RWD guys, despite having the smaller battery, while the BYD counters with longer term durability and that structural CTB advantage. But nobody buys an EV just to stare at the range figure. Let's talk motors and performance, because here the two cars have very different personalities. MG offers the MGS6 EV in two powertrain flavors. The single motor rear drive setup makes 180 kilowatt, which MG also gives as 244 metric horsepower and 350 no meters of torque. Officially, that gets you from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 7.3 seconds and tops out at 200 kilometers per hour. The dual motor all wheel drive system bumps the combined output to 266 kilowatt or 361 metric horsepower and 540 new meters. That cuts the 0-100 kilometer hour time to 5.1 seconds, still capped at 200 kilometers per hour. Those aren't just headline numbers. MG is quite explicit that the dual motor car's extra performance doesn't come with a silly top speed race. 
Instead, they've held the maximum speed at 200 km per hour on both variants to keep efficiency and stability under control. BYD's Celian 7, especially in its AWD specification, is more of a show-off. Official literature talks about a motor speed of up to 23,000 RPM and an all-wheel drive variant that sprints from 0 to 100 km per hour in 4.5 seconds with a top speed of 215 km per hour. So in simple terms, the MG is brisk in RWD form and genuinely quick in dual motor guise. The Celian 7 is outright fast, encroaching on performance SUV territory. What really matters though, is how that power gets to the road. On the MG S6 EV, MG uses a Mack Furson strut front suspension and a five link rear with a focus on stability and comfort. They talk about doing more than 900 aero simulations and wind tunnel minutes to get the body stable at speed. And they've paired that with an integrated braking system and energy recovery modes. You get five levels of regenerative braking, including a one pedal mode, and MG claims a 100 to zero kilometers per hour stopping distance of just 36 meters in their luxury trim, thanks in part to a brake system co-developed with Continental. BYD takes a more overtly technical road. The Celian 7 uses a double wishbone front suspension and a multi-link rear, combined with frequency-selective damping shock absorbers. Those FSD dampers are designed to respond differently to slow and fast suspension movements, so small bumps are smoothed out without letting the body float in faster corners. Add BYD's iTac, Intelligent Torque Adaption Control, and the picture gets more interesting. Instead of just cutting power when it senses slip, the car can shift, reduce or even apply negative torque at individual wheels to keep the car composed and make better use of that 23,000 RPM motor. The end result, at least in terms of engineering intent, is that the MGS6 EV aims for predictable, efficient family SUV dynamics, while the Celian 7 leans towards a more dynamic, performance-oriented character with more sophisticated underpinnings. Now let's plug them in. MG quotes a maximum DC fast charging power of 144 kilowatt for the MGS6 EV. On a suitable high power charger, that's officially enough to take the battery from 10 to 80% in about 38 minutes. The pack is NMC, so energy density is high, but thermal management is crucial. MG complements the battery with an integrated heat pump and careful aero to keep efficiency up in colder climates. On the AC side, depending on market, you're looking at the usual onboard charger spec, suitable for European home wall boxes. MG doesn't make a fuss about AC charging in its launch material, which usually means it sticks to the common, sensible options. BYD, on the other hand, absolutely does make a fuss. On the official Celian 7 page, DC charging is advertised at up to 230 kilowatts, with the Excellence ADUD version charging from 10 to 80% in just 24 minutes under ideal conditions. The combination of LFP blade cells, CTB integration, and an efficient thermal system lets BYD push those charge rates while still emphasizing battery longevity. There's also an advanced heat pump as standard designed to harvest waste heat from the motors, cabin, and battery to minimize energy loss. So in a charging station showdown, the Celian 7 is the faster sprinter, higher peak power, and a shorter 10 to 80 window. The MG, meanwhile, is respectable, but clearly tuned more conservatively on the DC side. Let's move inside, because both cars try very hard to be rolling living rooms, but they interpret tech in slightly different ways. In the MG S6 EV, MG focuses on a clean, calm technology cabin, you get a 12.8-inch floating HD touchscreen in the center and a 10.25-inch digital instrument cluster in front of the driver. On top of that, there's a head-up display that can overlay essential information, speed, navigation, and safety alerts, and even supports augmented reality-style navigation prompts. Crucially, MG hasn't gone full tablet on wheels in a bad way. The official description emphasizes physical controls integrated into the center console for climate and audio, so you're not stabbing at a screen just to change the fan speed. All versions get soft touch materials, a panoramic fixed glass roof with electric blind, and MG's iSmart connectivity, which lets you locate the car, check tire pressures and remaining range, and preheat or pre-cool the cabin from your phone. In some markets, MG also builds in popular apps like YouTube, Spotify, and TikTok directly into the infotainment system, 
and equips an 11-speaker audio system as standard. BYD takes the digital lounge idea and turns it up another notch in the Celian 7. Front and center is a 15.6-inch rotating touchscreen. You can use it in landscape for traditional navigation and apps, or switch to portrait for certain layouts. There's also a head-up display projecting key information on the windscreen, plus an intelligent cockpit. Powered by a dedicated chipset with four-zone voice control and full Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. The interior design is described as being inspired by sailboat racing, with sweeping, floating volumes and a sense that elements are suspended in the cabin. Materials include quilted Nappa leather seats, soft vegan leather covering over 80% of the interior, and 128 color ambient lighting that you can tune to match your mood. The audio system uses 12 Dynodio speakers, so both cars offer premium sound, but BYD leans hard into the branding and the concert hall vibe. Practicality matters though, and here both cars do well, but again, with different flavors. According to MG's official press material, the MG S6 EV is 4.71 meters long and offers a 493 liter rear boot, expanding to up to 1,910 liters with the rear seats folded. On top of that, there's a front trunk, 124 liters in single motor versions and just over 100 liters in the dual motor car, giving you two separate storage zones. MG also highlights more than 30 interior storage spaces and a large compartment under the floating center console. The message is clear. This is a family workhorse in EV form. BYD's Celian 7 counters with a 520 liter rear boot and a 58 liter frunk expandable to 1,789 liters with the rear seats folded. So BYD wins slightly on rear boot capacity on paper, MG wins on frunk volume and ultimate maximum cargo space. Both offer wide tailgate openings and electrically operated rear doors. The BYD adds an intelligent foot gesture controlled electric tailgate with programmable stop positions and anti-pinch protection, making daily usability just a little more slick. Let's talk occupants rather than luggage. In the MG, both front seats are heated and ventilated as standard in some trims, with high-end upholstery options in gray or beige, mixing leather look and suede effect inserts. The panoramic roof and large glass area maximize light, and MG explicitly emphasizes long-distance comfort for a family of five. BYD pushes further upmarket. The Celian 7 gives you heated and ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, an electrically adjustable driver's seat with lumbar and leg support, and that large panoramic sunroof with electric sunshade. The cabin is engineered as a quiet space with extra work on noise, vibration, and harshness to create a calm environment even when you're using all of that performance. On the safety and driver assistance front, both cars are very much 2025 EVs, which means a long list of acronyms. MG's MGS6 EV has already achieved a five-star Euro NCAP rating with official scores of 92% for adult protection and 84% for vulnerable road users. It comes with seven airbags and the MG Pilot suite of ADAS, active emergency braking, multiple lane keeping assists, blind spot monitoring, intelligent speed assistance, and a driver monitoring system. A neat touch is MG Pilot Custom, which lets you store your favorite ADAS settings so the car behaves the way you like every time you set off. The Celian 7's official information focuses on BAD's advanced ADAS and 360-degree camera system. You get a full array of driver aids, collision warnings, lane assists, adaptive cruise, parking aids, plus the ITAC torque management system we talked about earlier, which is as much a safety tool as it is a performance one. The Celian 7 also offers a rich head-up display, keeping your eyes on the road by projecting navigation and warnings into your forward view. At the time of recording this script, BYD's site emphasizes the active safety technologies and the rigidity of the CTB structure, but doesn't yet boast a Euro NCAP star rating for Celian 7 in the same way MG does for the MGS6. So if that rating matters to you, keep an eye on future crash test results. Now, stepping back from the wall of acronyms and numbers, what do these two cars really represent? The MGS6 EV is essentially MG's sweet spot, family EV for people who want maximum space and range for the money with a sensible, efficiency-focused engineering package. 
Its NMC one-pack battery and slick 0.27 drag coefficient let it squeeze up to 530 kilometers of WLTP range from 77 kWh in the single motor version. The chassis is straightforward but well-tuned, and MG has worked with major suppliers, Continental on the brakes, for example, to make sure it stops as well as it goes. The interior is modern without being overwhelming, with physical controls where you actually want them, a strong connectivity suite via the iSmart app, and the kind of storage and practicality you need when you're hauling kids, pets, and the occasional IKEA wardrobe. The BYD Celian 7, by contrast, is more like a technology flagship for the Ocean line. Its blade battery and CTB construction turn the pack into a structural component, enhancing rigidity and safety. The double wishbone and FSD suspension hardware, the iTAC torque management, and the up to 23,000 RPM motor all point towards a more dynamic driving experience, especially in the Avdud Performance variant with that 4.5 second sprint. The cabin is positioned as a premium lounge, rotating 15.6 inch screen, 12 speaker Dynaudio audio, Napa leather, ambient lighting, and a panoramic roof designed to wow passengers. And on the infrastructure side, it's 230 kilowatt DC fast charging capability and 24 minute 10 to 80% window make it a strong choice for heavy use drivers who spend a lot of time hopping between high power chargers. So which one is right for you? If your priority is maximum range per kilowatt hour, a slightly more conservative but still modern tech package and the reassurance of a five-star Euro NCAP rating already in the bag, the MGS6 EV, especially in its rear wheel drive form, looks like the more rational choice. It's the engineer's family car. Good aero, solid thermal management, a proven modular platform, and a carefully optimized NMC pack. If, on the other hand, you want your midsize EV SUV to feel like a piece of rolling future tech, structural blade battery, ultra-quick DC charging, sophisticated suspension, big number performance, and a more luxurious cabin, then the BYD Celian 7 is the one that's been engineered with you in mind. Its LFP chemistry, CTB structure, and 8-in-1 integrated powertrain make it a fascinating example of just how vertically integrated a modern EV manufacturer can be. In a way, these two cars answer the same question in two different engineering dialects. MG says, give people a big, efficient SUV on a flexible platform with a high energy density battery, good aero, and honest practicality. BYD says, build the battery into the body, throw serious hardware at the chassis, crank up the performance, and wrap it all in an interior that feels more like a tech lounge than a traditional car. Whichever way you lean, you're looking at two very real, very current examples of how quickly the EV world is moving. So if you were standing at that charger with an MGS6 EV on one side and a Celian 7 on the other, my advice is simple. Think about how you actually drive. Long, steady motorway runs, lots of luggage, and a focus on efficiency? The MG quietly makes a lot of sense. Shorter hops, frequent DC fast charging, spirited drives, and a taste for high-end gadgetry? The BYD has the hardware to keep you smiling. And that's been your deep technical dive on the MG MGS6 EV versus BYD Celian 7. If you want me to compare either of these against something like a Tesla Model Y or a Hyundai Ioniq 5 Next, let me know in the comments. And as always, this is Autopedia, decoding the spec sheet so you don't have to.